Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. My name is Farha Alam and in this tutorial we are going to learn how can we load grades in the Oracle Fusion HCM Cloud with the help of Spreadsheet Data Loader or SDL. So in order to load any business object with the help of SDL, what we need? We need an additional plugin or tool that is ADFDI. This stands for Application Development Framework Desktop Integration Tool that embeds with our MS Office application or more particularly our MS Excel. So today we are going to see how can we load uh, the grades in our Oracle Fusion HCM Cloud with the help of this spreadsheet data loader. So let's get started. Firstly, I'm going to show you how can we download our template sheet from our cloud instance, then we can um, load the number of grades as many number of grades as we want to load we can uh, uh, put that on the uh, our excel sheet and then we can load that sheet in our instance so let's get started so here right now i am uh, on my fusion instance home page so let me show you how can we download our uh, template spreadsheet so we just have to go to this uh, setting and action button or profile icon and we just have to reach out to FSM page that stands for functional setup manager and we will going to search for our particular business object. In my case, I'm going to load grade. So I will search for this particular object that is great. So we just have to go to this global search bar and uh, I'm going to search manage grades search for it and here it is open it so here we can uh, uh, search the existing grades which are already there in the instance and we can create from here from ui as well but we want to load with the help of spreadsheet right so we just have to click on this manage in spreadsheet option and we get one spreadsheet template over here so i'm just going to open it so here my template is here so we just have to click on this enable editing option so it will ask me for the instance credentials So here I have downloaded the template and when I open that particular template that is for manage grades. So it is asking me for the instance credential. So it is uh, asking me to connect this spreadsheet with the instance. So do you want to connect? So yes, I want to connect my this sheet with my instance. So I will click on yes, then it will pop up the login window where I have to provide the same credentials where I have logged in to my instance. So let me provide the credentials first. So when I have provided the appropriate credentials, it, uh, it allows me to log into the instance. So there are some updates available for this IDFDI plugin. So right now I'm going to skip this option. Here it is invoking the action for this particular spreadsheet. So here we can see all the details for the grades. Now the next step is to uh, just go to this spreadsheet option, spreadsheet uh, loader tabs and under this more option, click on it. And we just have to click on create data set. So we'll get one confirmation that uh, do you want to create data set for this? Yes, click on OK. So that will get one confirmation message that our data set has been created successfully. Click on OK. Now we'll be able to insert the values for the grades. So what are the mandatory fields for this grade file? Basically, we have effective start date. It's the mandatory one. Then we have set code and grade code, grade name, active status. These are basically the mandatory fields for the 
for the grades so i am just going to provide the values for all the mandatory fields effective date i am going to provide as 1151 and uh, and date i am not going to provide code i want to keep it for this one as common set code is going to be common and grade code i am going to provide BISP underscore zero one is my grade code and my grade name will be BISP zero one and active status we can click on this drop down arrow so we will get the options like what value can be passed for this one so either active or inactive so I am going to provide active now I have filled all the mandatory fields for this one so you can see that previously when i um, i was filling this uh, i was filling these values so here we will uh, we were able to see invalid option so after filling all the values that invalid option has gone so now i'm going to uh, fill some more values for this one so I'm just going to copy this particular row. I'm just going to copy it. And then when I try to paste it, it is, it gives me a warning that uh, your sheet is not, uh, is you have to unprotect this sheet first. So how can we unprotect it? We just have to go to this uh, uh, review option, review tabs. And we have an option available unprotect sheet click on it now we'll be able to insert more rows for this one so I'm just going to copy it and paste paste it over here or So here I have I have inserted six rows. Now I am going to change uh, the grade code and grade name. I am going to provide unique grade codes for each grade and uh, grade unique name for each grade. So let me do it. So here I have provided a uh, unique grade codes for each grade and a unique name for each grade name. Now I'm going to save it. So I'm just going to this uh, spreadsheet loader option and I'll click on more and save. And then I will click on this upload option. Click on OK. Basically it gives a warning. So, okay. So the uh, basically the sale has been selected. That's why it uh, is unable to upload this sheet. So now I'm going to upload it. So here we can see it is invoking the action on failure continue to upload yes i am going to click on ok the request to import and load the spreadsheet data loader was successful click on ok so here we can see now we'll go to our instance and see So firstly, I will go to my client group and under data exchange work area. Here it is the option available, which is HCM spreadsheet data loader. And here the first one is the option recent spreadsheet load. So we will be able to see our grade file. So here we can see our grade file is available over here. We just it's basically right now it is in progress status. We can see a clock over here. We just have to keep on refresh it. So here we can see the file has been 
successfully loaded now we just have to go to manage grades manage grades page and we have to provide the name which is BISP and search for the grade which starts or begins with this particular name so here all the six grades are available BISP 01, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 which we have uploaded via spreadsheet data loader. So this is how can we load uh, the business object with the help of SDL that is a spreadsheet data loader with the help of ADFDI tool. That tool is must in order to use this utility SDL in order to load the objects in our cloud instance. So we need uh, this tool that is ADFDI which has been installed into our system only then we will be able to work with the spreadsheet data loader. So this is basically all about this session. How can we load grades with the help of a spreadsheet data loader in our HCM cloud? And if you have any question regarding this, please reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com or www.bispetrainings.com. Thank you everyone.